as far as the IIT question paper is concerned, one section will be of matching type. Of course, two columns are usually given, but here I have given three columns. First column, the name given to the process. Second column, what are the actual conversions for which this name is given? And the third column, the catalyst that is normally used. Now you can use for your convenience column 1 and 2 or 1 and 3 or 2 and 3 as the case may be. But here I have connected all the three columns, name, conversion and catalyst. Now you can notice Haber process. Haber process you are quite familiar with, manufacture of ammonia. So for Haber process, manufacture of ammonia D. And in this manufacture, which catalyst we are using? Iron as the catalyst and molybdenum as the promoter. So you can notice from three columns, you choose Haber process 1, for which from column 2, you choose D, manufacture of ammonia. And in the Haber process, what is the catalyst that is normally used? The catalyst used is iron along with promoter molybdenum. So, matching will be in the form of 1 D T. So, the correct matching will be 1 D T. All right. Similarly, consider decon process. Decon process is preparation of chlorine from HCl. That is known as decon process. So, 2 connected to C from column 2. Decon process is the method of preparing chlorine from HCl. And for this method of preparation, we make use of CuCl2 as the catalyst. So, you can combine this 2 C P. So, for decon process, it is a method of getting chlorine from HCl for which we make use of cupric chloride as the catalyst. Consider third contact process. It is again just like Haber process, a well known process which you are quite familiar with. Contact process is manufacture of sulfuric acid. So, under column 2 you can notice A manufacture of sulfuric acid. Now, in contact process the main point is we convert sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. That is the main principle in contact process. Sulfur dioxide is converted into sulfur trioxide and for this the catalyst that is used is vanadium pentoxide. So, we find contact process in column 1 is linked to A in column 2 for which S in column 3 as the catalyst. So, for third, 3 A S. 3 A S. All right, let us come to Wacker process. Probably you may not be quite familiar with 4 and 5, 
वैकर प्रोसेस एंड रेपे सिंथेसिस वैकर प्रोसेस इज कन्वर्शन ऑफ अनसैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन इंटू ऑल दि हाइड्स कन्वर्शन ऑफ अनसैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन इंटू ऑल दि हाइड्स फ्रॉम कॉलम टू यू कैन नोटिस सी टू एच फोर कन्वर्टेड इंटू ऑल दि हाइड सो वैकर प्रोसेस इज कन्वर्शन ऑफ अनसैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन इंटू ऑल दि हाइड्स so 4 in column 1 is linked to b in column 2 and for this we make use of this palladium chloride as the catalyst so for 4 b and q these two are linked let us come to the last one repe synthesis probably this is not quite familiar to you repe synthesis is polymerization of alkenes alkenes are polymerized you are quite familiar with the polymerization reactions and repe synthesis is actually the polymerization reaction of alkenes from smaller molecules bigger molecules are being produced so phi in column 1 linked to e and for this nickel complexes are used as catalysts so phi connected with e in column 2 and r in column 3 so even though it is the usual practice in iit question papers to have only two columns for the sake of um, experience and uh, explanation i have converted this question into three columns one the name of that particular process column two what is that process and column three the catalysts that are used why i have chosen this question is you are familiar with this fact about the d block elements namely d block elements behave as very useful catalysts either in the form of metals or metallic compounds of these transition elements we find several uses of these in the manufacturing processes very synthetic uses for the compounds of these uh, transition metal compounds which are quite useful in the conversion of several compounds into some other useful compounds so you can notice the last column column number 3 here all these are very useful catalytic reagents and all these compounds are compounds of transition metals we follow so either you use any of these two columns or you can combine all these three and i have chosen this as a sort of experience for you